the, the biggest challenge head and neck cancer roads are now challenged with is getting into the hospitals. There's a lot of tele tele support now. There's there's no support in the community. That's why our charity gets very very busy. So the biggest challenge is is support once they go back into the community, because again the doctors, the local doctors, the local GPs are not seeing patients to what they should be, and some of the hospitals still are not seeing patients back into the hospital at the moment. So the challenge is is how do they know what they don't know is they can't ask questions they don't know who to ask those questions to they they're very lonely they're very alone the the, the treatment is a massive impact on the ability to eat communicate and swallow and drink so they get depressed once they get depressed they go suicidal and this is they're doing all that on their own in the community so the biggest challenge from a charity point of view supporting those patients also is that we've lost a lot 90 percent of our volunteers because they are now isolating and scared to come back into the volunteer sector so from a charity point of view how do we support those people without volunteers every charity relies on volunteers and volunteers at the moment are really like pieces of gold if you get one then you have to hold them and nourish them so i would say there's a there's two challenges one for the patient of getting diagnosed and support throughout their journey and the charities that are supporting those patients is trying to find volunteers and maybe we need to start getting some volunteer sessions going to try and encourage volunteers to come back into the sector because without them the whole system would implode